Health officials in Georgia are sounding the alarm after a rare death from what is known as the brain-eating amoeba. It can eat your brain? There's a type of amoeba that can actually eat your brain, and it's called Nagleria fowleri. Fortunately, it's extremely rare, with only about three cases in the U.S. per year. There was just a case that was diagnosed last week in Florida from using a neti pot. How in the world does that happen? The amoeba can live in fresh warm water such as lakes, rivers, or streams and can even be found in some tap water. It causes the infection when that water containing the amoeba goes through the nose, such as using a neti pot or even jumping into water that has this amoeba inside. It can even live in recreational water that doesn't have enough chlorine, such as splash pads, pools, or water parks. When the amoeba enter your nose through the nasal cavity and water, it can actually adhere to the olfactory nerves and cross through the cribriform plate. The cribriform plate is the part of your nasal cavity where your olfactory nerves or your smelling nerves penetrate through your skull base so you can smell. So if those amoeba get on your olfactory nerve, it can actually enter the brain through the top of your nose. The death rate from this type of infection is 97%. It can be detected by being found in the cerebral spinal fluid. Treatments have been challenging to identify because it is so rare and so deadly. Anyone with meningitis type symptoms should always be assessed by a healthcare professional. You should not allow water to forcibly go up your nose, such as jumping into a pool or a lake. And don't allow kids to play with hoses or sprinklers without supervision because it can also place water up their nose forcibly. Please know that this is extremely rare, but it is also avoidable.